Hey guys, Max Thrust here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on how to achieve orbit in Kerbal Space Program. I'll see you at the KSC. Hey guys, welcome back to KSP and my tutorial on how to gain orbit. Let's go into the VAB. All right, first thing we're going to do is design the upper stage of the rocket, which will include the command capsule, a parachute, a heat shield, a fuel tank, and an engine. So I'm going to go ahead and use the command pod Mark 1. We're going to go to utilities and get a parachute. We're going to go to thermal and get our heat shield. I'm going to adjust this just a little bit. And I'm using these tools up here. We're going to get our decoupler. We're going to go into fuel tanks and get a T400. And then we'll go into engines and get the 909. All right. So next what we need to do is build our first stage. So our first stage is going to consist of a decoupler. Then we're going to go to fuel tanks and get an FLT 400. And what I'm going to do with this fuel tank is I'm just going to highlight it by moving my cursor on there and pushing Alt and creating an extra one and then creating two more. And that's just by putting the cursor on, highlighting how many you want, and then holding the Alt key and clicking your left mouse button. Uh, next, we're going to get an engine. We're going to get the swivel, which is right here. And there you go. That is our basic rocket that we're going to use to achieve orbit. The reason why I'm using the 400s instead of the 800, which is shown right here, is because if you're playing at early career mode, you're not going to have that available to you right away. And so I can just show you how to do it with the tanks that you have currently. Now one thing you want to look at is our delta V. Currently right now, at sea level, our delta V is 2,524 meters. That's not enough to get into orbit. What we need to be at is at least, on the safe side, 3,800. If I switch over to vacuum, you see we're at 4,819. But unfortunately, our thrust to weight right now at sea level is 1.18, which is going to really cause you to struggle in the beginning of the launch of this rocket. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go back to the couplings, and we're going to go ahead and grab the TT-38K radial decouplers. I'm going to put toggle snap and I'm going to put one on each side as you can see there. And we're going to head over to engines and grab the hammer. I'm placing the hammers down here at the bottom and then with our move tool I'm going to adjust the height of them just because I like things to look a little even. From there, we're going to go ahead and put some aerodynamic caps on there, nose cones. And as you can see, right now we're at a part count of 18, which is still good for the amount that you would have in career mode, which is 30 if you haven't upgraded the VAB yet. From here, we're going to make our adjustments and our staging. So we want to put the swivel engine with our two boosters. The next thing we want to do is make sure that all our other staging is correct. I'm going to bring the parachute down just like I did before so that way once we decouple that last stage we don't have to worry about deploying our chute. Next thing we're going to want to look at is our thrust to weight. Our thrust to weight is now too high. We're going to be trying to push too fast through the atmosphere. So let's go ahead and bring these boosters down a little. And I like to be just under uh, 1.5 and no lower than 1.4. So 
So let's go with that right there. Now what you see is this decoupling stage has delta V left in it. What that means is that by the time these boosters run out, this stage is still going to be burning, our center stage. And that means that it'll have an additional 997 delta V while this stage, or once we decouple the boosters. Let's go ahead and take a look at vacuum. As you can see now, we're at 5100. We have 23 in our upper stage, which is going to be more than enough. And like I said before, the reason why I'm using it this way is because you can save this and you will be able to deploy other payloads with this same rocket over and over again. Everything checks out. Let's go ahead and name our craft. Save it. Let's uh, throw Valentina in there this time. And I'll see you out on the launch pad. Hey guys, welcome back to the launch pad. So what we want to do is number one rule, check your staging one more time. So let's take a look. We want both solid fuel boosters and our uh, main engine to light. Then we will decouple our solid fuel boosters once they're complete. We'll decouple our first stage start our second stage engine and then when we're all done we're going to decouple the second stage and deploy the chute. Everything is looking good there. We're going to want to hit the T key for SAS and go ahead and hit the Z key which will put you at full throttle for this uh, liquid fuel engine here. So let's do a count in five, four, three, two, one, launch. So what you're going to see me look for is about 50 meters per second. I'm going to lean over about 5 degrees. And then at 100, I'm going to lean over another 5 degrees. Now, basically what I do from here is when I hit about 2,500 meters, I'm going to go a little bit further. And I'm just gonna slowly keep laying down because what I'm trying to do is get to uh, 45 degrees by about 10,000 to 12,000 meters. So you don't want uh, your directional, uh, I don't even know what you call it, but you don't want it to go outside of your stability assist, your prograde marker. And there we are, we're at 45. Okay, those boosters have gone out, so we're gonna head and get rid of them, because we're getting rid of the weight. And the next thing I'm gonna do is switch over to maneuver mode. And at 40, I'm gonna go ahead and start moving myself over to about 30. At 50, I'm going to go down to about 20. And then right when I'm getting to 60, I'm going to start moving all the way down to 0 degrees. Now what I'm going to do here is just let this stage burn itself out. Don't worry about the heating, it's not going to do anything uh, bad to you. We're high enough that it's not going to make a difference. And there you have it. Our APWAP set 74 kilometers. So let's go ahead and ditch this stage and start our engine. I like to at least get to about 80 uh, kilometers APWAPs before I enter an orbit. You can pick whatever you want as long as you're over 70. And I'm just going to keep holding it here at the zero degree mark. And let's just go ahead and go up to 90. All right, we are at 90. So now what we're gonna do is our coast phase. So we're just waiting for us to get into space. Let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Nice view of space around Kerbin. And there we go. We are in our, uh, we're in space now. So the next thing you're gonna wanna do if you have the ability to do a maneuver node, go ahead and set up your maneuver node. And 
if it seems like it's just not going the way you want it to, you can use this little guy and actually make a more fine tune adjustment that way. But you can see right here, we're, we're off just a little bit and that's usually because we're not right on the Apo apps. So we'll adjust this a little bit. It really doesn't matter. We're close enough that it doesn't make a difference, but there you go, that's close enough. Now, when we do that, that's obviously um, if you've unlocked or upgraded the, the ability to do that. If you haven't been able to do that yet, let's go ahead and achieve orbit without it. So what I'd recommend is going into this screen, looking where your prograde marker is, and then being opposite to it. And when you do this, you're just kind of playing with it and guessing it. But if you stay about opposite of to where your program marker is, you should be pretty close. And so if you right click on the app apps, it'll lock that in there. And so what we're looking for is making sure this doesn't keep climbing and climbing and climbing. So we're getting pretty close to being on top of it. So let's go ahead and start our burn right about now. So you can see it's actually dropping a little bit and that's perfectly fine. So I'm going to zoom out here. We're watching the app waps to make sure it doesn't start going crazy on us. And as you can see, we're slowly building this up and our peri app should pop up here pretty soon. There it is. And now when you see it moving like that, go ahead and cut your engine and then just fine tune it. Bam, we have orbit. It's really that simple. Uh, if you need to try it a couple times, just make sure you save. Uh, watch the video how I did that. Um, but other than that, it's just kind of watching where you are on your nav ball. Your nav ball is extremely important when you're in space. So make sure you always use it. A lot of people get caught trying to stare at their ship and that's just going to lead you to failure. Make sure you use your nav ball. Other than that, guys, there's a wonderful picture of the moon. Um, I appreciate you guys stopping by. I'm not going to show you how to deorbit because I think you already know. If for some reason you haven't figured that out yet, all you got to do is go to your retrograde, look at your periaps, do a burn, and I like to come in anywhere around 30,000 or 30,000 meters or 30 kilometers. All right, guys. Well, that does it for today's tutorial on how to achieve orbit. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like the content, please give me a like and subscribe. And make sure you click on the little dingleberry down there to make sure you know when I upload again. I hope you have a great day. This is Max Thrust, and I'm out.